Well, I, uh, I had a really uh, difficult childhood, and uh, when I got out of school, I was just 17, and my dad died, and we'd had a really bad relationship. He was very distant and cold and gone a lot when he was home. He's a disciplinarian. So he died just before I turned 18, and at that point, kind of, in the, the Bible talks about, you know, the, the Jews wandered in the wilderness, and so I, I ran to the wilderness, and I just went to escape and, and got involved with that, all the cultural stuff in the late middle and late 60s and early 70s, and every day was a struggle just trying to blot out reality, and, and that lasted for almost 10 years. You know, when we talk about events that happen in our life that don't make sense. I mean, it, it didn't make sense. I mean, I met Eva and I just was stunned and I'd never, that had never experienced before. And I just, who is she? And unbeknownst to me, I found out later, you know, I don't even know if I found out before who we were married, but she said the same thing. Well, who is he? And so I don't think it was love at first sight. I think that I really believe that God can orchestrate events ahead of us that we walk into and that, that was all part of my journey and her journey and it came together and uh, we did a lot of things the wrong way but it was certainly yeah i guess maybe whirlwind it wasn't too long and i just said you know we need to get married i think and we finally got married and uh, began this uh, this wonderful journey together i was 61, almost 62 years old before I stepped foot in Radiant Church. And we went to church because my son had been going there and he'd had some difficulties. And uh, he asked us if we would go. And uh, Eva said, uh, my wife, his mother said, of course we'll go. And I went, well, I don't know, what kind of church is it? You know, they got loud music. And I walked in, they went, because I'd been to other churches off and on, and I thought, what kind of church is this? That people are greeting you and saying hi, and the music's going, I'm going, what is this? But once I heard um, Pastor Lee um, teaching, you know, I'd heard preachers, but I'd never really experienced in my mind, I wasn't ready for someone to teach the Bible. And that's really what uh, really opened me up. Mike. Popenhagen, it's now Pastor Mike and Jackson, was the worship leader. And one day afterwards, they'd had their prayer team and he was standing there after church. And and I walked up and, and I told him, I said, you know, Mike, I've lived this life and, you know, I'm going to be 62. I said, is it too late? And he looked at me and had this beautiful smile and he said, Jim, it's never too late for the Lord to do great things in your life. And I just, and I walked away with real hope. The second thing was Pastor Lee was preaching and teaching and he was talking about that God will adopt you and you're going to be adopted into God's family. You're going to have a heavenly father and it was much more than that but he went on and on and all of a sudden you know I was crying and then he did the altar call and then my arm went up and I was crying. I just said I can't believe it. You know that God wants me even though I think I was giving up on me as I got older, and I think other people give up on older sinners, you know, that, oh, he's so old and this and that, and he won't change. And, and I think that's that's my view and the world's view, but it's not God's view. And uh, um, he wants us, and he wants us in his kingdom, no matter what we've done, if we'll accept him and his son as our savior. You know, the, the reality is, is that you know, we both kind of got saved at the same time, and that was wonderful. Um, but I can't kind of take back, and you can't, like that past. We can't. We want to close that door. But I still, I still remember that. And uh, and even though I can be kind of grumpy sometimes, you know, um, that I really don't want to be that guy. I mean, I love her, and and I owe her all these last years. Uh, not as a payment, but to just live as a godly man supposed to live for my wife. And uh, I want that. I want to be that man for her. It doesn't make up for the past, um, but it provides hope for today and for the future as we journey into into this this next season of our life.